have already learned about verbs of complete and incomplete predication. So let us begin today by reading this. Mom seems. Now here, mom is our subject. And the predicate seems consists of one word which is a verb. Now this verb is an intransitive verb. But if you just say mom seems, then the sentence does not portray a complete sense. So the predicate is incomplete. Hence this verb is known as the verb of incomplete predication. But if we add another word to the predicate, to get mom seems happy. Then what do we see? Then in this sentence, mom is the subject, seems happy is the predicate which has an intransitive verb seems and a word happy which completes the predicate to make a meaningful sentence. So the word happy here is a complement because it completes the meaning of the verb. Now when I say Ben kicked the ball, then in this sentence Ben is the subject and kicked the ball is the predicate which has kicked which is a transitive verb and the ball is the object taken by the transitive verb. So Ben kicked what? Ben kicked the ball. So the sentence here makes complete sense. So what do we see? That every sentence does not require a complement. Now if I say Jen named her daughter. So here Jen is the subject and named her daughter is the predicate. Now in this predicate we have the transitive verb named which takes an object her daughter. So Jen named who? Jen named her daughter. But in spite of having an object in the sentence, is it making complete sense? No, the sentence does not make complete sense. But if we say Jen named her daughter Jenny. So what have we done here? We have added the word Jenny in the predicate and this word completes the meaning of the sentence because it is completing the predicate. Hence here, Jenny is the complement. So we see that in this sentence, we have the transitive verb which takes an object, but the object does not complete the meaning of the sentence. It still needs another word or a group of words to complete the meaning of the sentence. And this word is known as the Complement. So what are complements? Complements complete the predicate to have a meaningful sentence. It is important to remember that every sentence does not require a complement. Now let us read this sentence. The food smells delicious. Now in this sentence we have the subject, the food and the predicate smells delicious. Now this predicate has an intransitive verb smells. Now if I just say the food smells, the predicate will not be complete because the sentence will not make complete sense. So if I add the complement delicious, then our predicate is complete and the sentence makes a complete sense. So the food smells delicious. Delicious is the complement here. If I say, she is my teacher. Now in this sentence, she is the subject and is my teacher is the predicate. Now this predicate has an intransitive verb, is. And if I just say she is, then the predicate is not complete. So my teacher completes the predicate. So my teacher is the complement here. Now remember that any word or group of words after the be verb, for example, is in this sentence, is a complement. So if I have a sentence as, this place is very tranquil and 
peaceful in this sentence this place is the subject is very tranquil and peaceful is the predicate now this predicate here has the be verb is and we have learned that any group of words or word after the be verb is the complement or completes the predicate so here very tranquil and peaceful is a group of words which is acting as the complement the principal kept us waiting now in this sentence the principal is the subject kept us waiting is the predicate and this predicate has a transitive verb the principal kept kept whom kept us now this transitive verb kept takes a object as now if i just say the principal kept us will the predicate be complete no the sentence will not make complete sense but if i say the principal kept us waiting then the predicate is complete and we have a meaningful sentence so this word waiting is the complement in this sentence now that we know what are complements let us do this exercise identify the complement in the given sentence his behavior has been outrageous what is the subject here his behavior our predicate is has been outrageous now what is the verb in this sentence has been now if i just say his behavior has been will the predicate be complete no the sentence will not be a meaningful sentence so when i say his behavior has been outrageous this word outrageous is completing the predicate hence outrageous is the complement in this sentence he accused us of complaining now in this sentence he is the subject accused us of complaining is the predicate now this predicate has the transitive verb accused and this verb takes an object as he accused who he accused us now if i just say he accused us will the predicate be complete yes we will have a meaningful sentence if i say he accused us so of complaining is it acting as a complement in this sentence is it completing the predicate no it is not completing the predicate it is just giving us extra information so if we say he accused us we would have a meaningful sentence so of complaining is not acting as the complement in this sentence so the verb in this sentence is of complete predication it does not need a complement to make a meaningful sentence remember that complements cannot begin with a preposition now let us read this sentence my mom bought me a dress now in this sentence my mom is the subject and bought me a dress is the predicate which has a transitive verb bought because this verb takes an object my mom bought what a dress so a dress is the direct object here and my mom bought whom a dress bought me a dress so me is the indirect object here but if i say the coach made me angry now in this sentence the coach is the subject made me angry is the predicate which has a transitive verb made so the coach made whom the coach made me so me is the direct object here the coach made me if i just say that will the sentence be a meaningful one no in that case the predicate will not be complete but if i say the coach made me angry then angry is completing the predicate to make a meaningful sentence hence angry will be the 
complement. So now that we know what are complements, let us identify the sentence with a complement. He is the winner of the competition. The teachers have corrected the test papers. Let us take the second sentence first. The teachers have corrected the test papers. Here, the teachers is the subject. Have corrected the test papers is the predicate. Now, this predicate has the verb have corrected. Have corrected what? Have corrected the test papers. So, the test papers is the object of the verb here. So, this sentence has no complement. But in this sentence, he is the winner of the competition. He is the subject. Is the winner of the competition is the predicate. Now in this predicate, we have the be verb is. Now we know that any word or group of words after the be verb is the complement of the verb. So here, he is the winner of the competition. The winner of the competition is the complement. So this sentence, he is the winner of the competition, is the one which has a complement. So what did we learn today? Today we have learned about complements in detail. We have learned that a complement completes the predicate to have a meaningful sentence. Remember that every sentence does not require a complement and that it cannot begin with a preposition. I hope that today's lesson was easy to understand. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to get all learning resources as per ICSC, CBSC, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum. Over 5,000 amazing lectures across maths, science, English and social science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests, performance analysis with actionable feedback, personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts. That's not all. You can also win amazing prizes like PlayStation, iPad, watches and many more along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So learning at Delta Step is not just fun and easy, it is also rewarding. So register for free now.